Hey, welcome everybody back to uh, Soup to Nuts. While we were out, uh, we picked up some tile for Angie's bathroom floor. Uh, Angie painted the walls and the ceiling the other day, and I was like, well, we better get ready to do the floors and everything. So uh, we went out and got the subfloor, uh, tile, mortar, grout, the whole nine yards. So we're going to, and we got a new sink and vanity for her as well and a new mirror. So we're going to see how this goes. This is not going to be, this is a how you do it video. This is going to be how we do it and not say so many cuss words at each other. So I'm going to let An Angie get uh, started on demoing today and then we'll start looking and see what's under the floor. So we started with the new snack. One, we're trying to get the water uh, turned off in the bathroom. We had to go down and turn off the main house water because the valves underneath the sink was, as soon as you try to turn it off, water is coming out of it. So now we're gonna have to replace the shutoff valve in the bathroom. And uh, so we're probably gonna end up replacing both of them and definitely need to replace the hoses to each one. This is what our bathroom tile floor looks like. A bunch of cracks. You can see over here, right there. But this is probably builder grade, do you think? Or do you think they did that later? Somebody probably did it after the fact and it's just crappy tile. But I didn't put anything back up on my walls except the towel and the toilet paper hanger. So the stuff on my floor is just on my floor. But this is the before picture. We finally got the floor measured for the orange stuff. Subfloor. And uh, so soon we will be putting the mortar down and tacking that on so it will be stuck to the subfloor. Well, starting to put the mortar down so we can put the water barrier down on the floor. so that we can get started in laying out the laying them out to make sure how we want them to fit in the bathroom 
And then once we get them numbered, I'll go easy right from there, right? Yep, it's only like 54 square feet. So we're gonna lay out the, the tiles uh, to make sure they're in a pattern that Angie wants. If this was a huge floor, we wouldn't do that. But because it's so small, we wanna make sure the tiles fit best and, and look the best in a small area. Not something you would typically do for a bigger area, but for a small area, that's what we're gonna do. So, we'll get to it. What we use with our tiling is a system to level it out is, you have these little spacers and you put them, I, I don't like thick grout lines in my tile, the smaller the better. And so ours is 1 16th wide. And what you do is these go in between the two tiles and then you stick this in here, right? Is that how you do it? Yep, and then you stick just it in here uh, and it, have a pair of pliers that you clamp it with. And this it helps, helps it level. It helps level it. So you don't have to always guess it with the with a level. These actually will level all your tiles. That's what we did in our other bathroom. So we're like, that was a pretty good um pretty good setup. Technique. Yeah, pretty good technique. So we're gonna do it again. Done dry fitting it so we can get all our cuts correct. And this is what it looks like. matter there started. so we got the parts underneath the vanity and the toilet area I like my grout lines teeny tiny so this is what we have done so far we just have that little bit left to go and then we'll do, be done so two rows and we'll be done we just ran out of mortar or thin set whatever you want to call it and so we got to go mix some more give steve a break and then we'll be right back at it okay so welcome back to soup to nuts day three on angie's bathroom remodel uh, i'll tell you where we're, we're where we're at and how we got there uh, we demoed the bathroom uh, what we realized was the people put down the schuler ditra uh, membrane be between the subfloor and the tiles and they only stapled it down and it looks like they just buttered the back of the tile and laid them on top of the membrane because when we demoed they came up really easy and separated right from the membrane so we put a layer of mortar down then we put the membrane then we put another layer of mortar down uh, and when we were laying the tile and we used a high profile uh, trowel when we were doing it so we got all the tiles laid and that brings us up to where we are today. Angie, what are we gonna to do today? Well, today we gotta to take the clips off of the, the leveling system that we leveled the, the tiles with, and then grout. And then get ready to put the toilet in and the new vanity. All right, to demonstrate how to take the, the little yellow things out, you have to have a special tool. And this is what the tool looks like. One end, goes in here and the other end goes in here. So the closed end goes on the fat part, and then the open end goes on that part. So I'll try and get in view. You just squeeze it. Oh, it worked. And it pulls it out. Huh. So what it does is it, it gets so big that it breaks the down inside in your grout. So I'll just keep continuing to do this and uh Garbage. 
So I'm just going to get busy on taking these apart and um, get my floor cleaned up some and then I'll see you back in a bit. <laughs> I tried to get up some of it this morning, but the stuff that was underneath the leveling system just got to wipe up and clean. I forgot one that was underneath the uh, towel to block the toilet. So I got to go take that off and then I'll start wiping it down. Just using a wet towel and... Uh, Thank goodness you can still get it out. Try to clean up some of the mortar that's between the grout lines so you can have a nice grout line. All right, so I got my grout mix. I'm using the Maypie, or however you pronounce it, Pearl Gray Sanded Grout. Got it all mixed up, brought it here into my bathroom. Now let's get grouting. All right, so here I have my grout. We're using the pearl gray, and uh, I'm just gonna get in here and start going at an angle. Just pressing it in. I have no idea if I'm doing it correctly. I looked at the pictures, and it should go in at an angle. So I got all the grout done to split in my 15 minutes and hopefully I can get it all up and that will look beautiful. All right, see you in 15 minutes. All right, so I got my bucket of water. I got my sponge. You want to wring it out really good because you don't want it wet. You just want it. I mean, you don't want it soaking wet, you just want it wet. And then go at an angle to your grout. I'm gonna get sturdy like this, turn it over, wipe some more. When it's dirty. Rinse it out. Wiping and wiping until you got all this gray haze up and your grout. You, and they say go at an angle because if you go like this, with the lines, you pull out some of the grout. You can see how clean it is already somewhat, but as it dries, you'll see if there's a haze there or not. Go at an angle. So 
we just got done finishing the sink. We had a little snafu. The drain pipe did not line up with the sink drain. So we had to go to Ace Hardware to buy a flexible tube. So we got that all squared away. Now we're going to finish doing the trim and uh, get that done before we put the toilet in because it's a lot easier to get to the trim and caulk it before you put the toilet seat in because we have less space around the toilet now because we put in a bigger um, vanity. So I got my nailer and I'm just going to go in here and uh, start attaching my baseboard. baseboard. Where should, where should I start right here? You can do it with everyone. to scrape the caulk off of the toilet so a fresh piece so a fresh bead of caulk can go around it so I think I did okay for it so uh, hopefully it'll do its job Steve's putting the bolts, the nuts, and the washers on on the bolts to hold down the toilet. Yep, we compress the wax ring, so we'll just tighten it down just to get the final seal. And I'll come back in and cock around the, the bottom. We'll check for a leak real quick. Ooh, yeah. Now we just have to 
you no know, water comes from. You know, it hardly ever does when you're doing a toilet because it's it's a pretty good funnel way going into the last ring. All right. finished up another project this is Angie's bathroom uh, what we did was we demoed everything we took out the old tile that was put in substandard with contractor grade tile we put in a custom tile that we really like it was uh, it was cheap we got it from floor decor and it cost us under a hundred dollars for the tile it was more for the membrane that goes between the subfloor and the tile than it was for the actual tile we also got our new vanity and sink uh, and new baseboard trim to go all the way around. So again, the project ran us under $1,000. It was probably under $400 for the vanity, uh, $200, we'll say $250 for all of the floor, and another $100 for the faucet. I wish we could have done a blooper video watching Angie trying to line up the faucet handles was hilarious. Savannah, you would only appreciate that. So, well, again, Thanks for tuning in to Soup to Nuts on this project. Uh, can't wait to see what our next project is. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button, follow us, see where our next adventures lead. Thanks for watching.